I know, I know. I promise we're going to finish it. <laughs> that guys. Welcome to Leave Reacts. I hope everyone's having a good day. I know I am. And yes, we. I know we were supposed to finish uh, Station to Station, but plans changed. Um, we're going to be doing a Patreon request today from our patron, Gail H. And we are going back to Diamond Dogs, which I think was released in 1974, um, May. And uh, we have not heard anything from this album. We've only listened to Station to Station and then like one track from another one. But uh, this is an interesting phase of his, apparently. This is already his eighth studio album in 1974. Like, what? <laughs> he had such a career, man. Just the longevity in this man, and let alone the creativity and the genius, you know what I'm saying? But just, just how long, you know, he did music. It's fucking crazy. Um, so, yeah, let's get right into it. If you're all not subscribed, please help a brother out. Click that icon right below my face. Today, we're going to be listening to uh, Future Legend and, and Diamond Dogs. <laughs> I had to think for a second. Uh, two tracks. The first one's just an intro. It's like a minute long, and then we'll be listening to Diamond Dogs. So let's go. If y'all are not subscribed, please help a brother out. Click that icon right below my face. I'd really appreciate it. it. Takes like two seconds. It's absolutely free. And if you want to see more Bowie, we do Bowie on the week. Well, basically on the weekly year. So um, the day usually varies. It's maybe usually Tuesday, but don't hold me to it. All right, here we go. Future Legend and then Diamond Dogs. Three, two, one. Thin White Duke. I'm already intrigued. <laughs> and in the death, as the last few corpses lay rotting in the slimy thoroughfare, the shutters lifted an inch in Temperance Building, high on Boucher's Hill, and red mutant eyes gazed down on Hunger City. No more big wheels. Fleas the size of rats sucked on racks the size of cats, and 10,000 peeploids split into small tribes Covered in the highest of the sterile skyscrapers, like packs of dogs assaulting the glass fronts of Lovney Avenue, ripping and re wrapping mink and shiny silver frocks. Now Leghorns, family badge of sapphire and cracked them on. And the day now, the year of the diamond dogs. Okay, then, let's go. Not to genocide. That groove is nice. The diamond dogs are poachers and they hide their hand trees. Hunt it to the ground, they will. Mannequins with kill a pill. I keep a friend serene. Thought that a bug on me, fuck. <laughs> It's got like a 1950s vibe to it, but it's like warped. Thank you. 
very interesting. It's so different from station to station. Damn, we've been having some good sacks today, if that's a sack. Can't tell, really. Or an oboe? I love that riff. Tony Newman and Ansley Dunbar on drums for this album. That album cover, bro. <laughs> I'm trying not to look at it. It's creeping me out. Stop staring at me, David. You're still looking at me. Hey, hey, hey. I love that like vocoder effect or whatever he's doing. It's all analog, man. It's so crazy the stuff they did back then. Just to get a sound. A little piano to send us on our way. You're too kind, David. Huh? 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 Oh, and it goes right into the next one, probably. Man, that was great. It was like a... I don't know, it felt like 1950s kind of like diner, you know, like the... What is it? The, um... It was like the... The punks was it the but no it was the, like the bikers and the jocks I can't remember what it was from Back to the Future whatever that movie was, it just kind of reminded me of like like the 1950s kind of vibe with the music but like it had this really warped kind of um, satirical derivative not derivative like he was it was almost like a um, what's the word um it'll come to me hold on it's like an, not an attack you know what i mean like it's almost like a de ah, deconstruction see it's a deconstruction almost like that 1950s kind of uh kind of sound <laughs> that's what i felt like but there's a lot of added extra like music whatever that was if it was a saxophone or whatever it was um yeah david bowie played the saxophone on this yep that's so that's what that was that sounded great um he did do the moog the mellotron lead and background vocals guitars Mike Garson did the keyboards, Herbie Flowers on the bass guitar, Tony Newman, and Ansley Dunsbar on the drums, and then um, another guy, but he played on a different song. Um, yeah, man, honestly, the sax was probably like one of my favorite parts, other than like his vocals, the like, upbeat vibe of it, the weird effects they were using to kind of distort 
like uh, almost like the American dream it felt like. <laughs> I don't even know what this album's about, what a diamond dog is, anything like that. Um, but that's kind of what I got like, the feeling I got from it. It was sort of like a deconstruction of that 1950s, just like kind of fake happiness, that nuclear family, which is still, you know, that is happiness, you know what I'm saying? But like that fake projected one they gave people like through Hollywood and all that stuff. And I don't know, they just tried to make like, they either try to make life look too easy or they try to make it too hard. They never tell you the truth about how life really is. And, you know, it's hard, but it's also easy at some points, too. You know, like, there's, uh, it's like a roller coaster. You Literally, it's like, there's up and they're down. They're sometimes straight. They're sideways. You never know. You never know what, day, what the day is going to bring you, you know. Um, but every day that I walk this earth and I wake up, I'm grateful for another one because uh, I should have been dead a long time ago. Let's just be honest here. Uh, I really was. Uh, all the overdoses, uh, the stabbing, uh, <laughs> getting hit by a motorcycle. There's all kinds of different death-defying feats I've accomplished in my career. Um, but I'm still here. I'm still walking strong, hopefully, a little bit, you know, trying to walk tall. But <laughs> music like this just makes me think of what, you know, I don't know, if I hadn't fucked off for 10 years sort of thing, you know, what kind of person would I have been? Would I have been some weirdo who's just like stuck up his own ass because he thinks and smelling his own farts because he thinks he's so smart? We'll leave that alone. Um, <laughs> I really enjoyed, uh, what is it, uh, Mike Garson on the keyboards are good. Um, I really didn't hear much from Herbie Flowers on the bass. Uh, but yeah, whoever that was on the drums, unless it was two drummers at the same time, uh, Tony Newman and Ansley Dunsbar. It doesn't give tracks for which ones did which unless they played on both. Uh, the drums are great in this. Like I said, it was all just this kind of like sort of 1950s but also mixed with the 60s vibe. Um, and it just felt weird and out of place and disconcerting. Um, obviously on purpose, you know, like it's very distorted. It was like a reflection of the what American Dream 1950s kind of sound was. And they flipped it on its head. And that's what David Bowie does, man. He is an artist. And I'm kind of interested to hear the rest of this album now. We've got a ton of David Bowie requests this month, so you're going to be hearing a lot of Bowie on the channel this month. I think I have four separate requests for him that we're going to have to obviously, you know, separate by like a week at a time. Um, but yeah, strap in. we got plenty more Bowie coming your way. And I think that's it on me. I really enjoyed that. Um, I'm interested to hear more. If you all didn't know, we have Patreon right here. Is the camera going to come to me? Oh, yes, it is. Hello there. Um, yeah, go check it out. There's a link in the description. If you join the $10 tier or up, you get one free request a month. That's, um, this is the last month that's going to be like that, though. It's going to be going up to the exclusive member tier only for the requests. Um, you know, just got to do what I got to do, man. Supply and demand. Um, I got a lot of requests. It's almost too much now. So not even too much. It's I can handle it. Uh, but I don't want to just be bombarding people with six videos a day either. You know, like I'm fine with doing four sort of thing every morning. Uh, but I've got so many that I've got to uh, post even extra videos now, which I'm not complaining about whatsoever. I'm, I'm very happy with it. But I got to, uh, you know, I don't know protect the channel, protect you guys. And like I said, that's what the guidelines and the rules are for. And I got to have some kind of sanity in my life. You know what I mean? Um, which I enjoy doing this, obviously, or I wouldn't be doing it. I love uh, communicating with you guys and just, you know, enjoying our music talks and our life talks that we have. But at the same time, a few spoiled uh, apples can uh, fuck up the bunch, as they say, or whatever the fuck they say. Um, so I'm just trying to enact some rules and stuff like that just so the channel doesn't get out of hand and um i don't lose my sanity as you know um i have many 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 generous people that um are very nice to me <laughs> especially and i'm so grateful and thankful for you guys and like i know this doesn't come from like a place of greed or like insincerity like i told the folks on patreon when i posted the guidelines uh it's just uh you know, it's just how it works on here. Once you start getting up there with all these people, like my channel's starting to take off now and I kind of got to do what I can do to, you know, save some kind of time because my list is long. And I'm fine with that because uh, there's, you know, plenty of time for me to do it. But at the same time, I got to keep my head on straight so I don't freak the fuck out like I did last year. <laughs> uh, but I got way off topic. Um, I don't even know if I did the Patreon thing. I think I did. Um, yeah, and if you want to join any of the tiers, get access to our block videos, all of our Patreon exclusives. There's hours and hours of bonus content. Three full Beatles albums, a Jethro Toe album, Frank Zappa, 
King Crimson, tons of that, all kinds of stuff. If you want to watch like a bunch of extra shit, it's on there. Go check it out. And uh, there's a PayPal link in the description as well for tips, requests, and anything else. Thank you, Gail, for this pick again. This was great. And uh, I will see you all next time for Bowie Tuesday or Bowie, whatever day we pick. <laughs> I don't know. Bye. <laughs>